nothing better than slow roasted baby back ribs on your backyard grill. When we finish cooking, I usually leave the heat on for a few minutes and burn off some of the grease spatters. But it's easy to get distracted when you're hosting a cookout. It wasn't unusual to forget that the grill had been left on. And it wouldn't be remembered until the next time that you went to use the grill. It's a little bit late then if you don't have spare tanks of fuel standing by. The party's over. The obvious answer is to stop using the individual LPG tanks and switch to natural gas. But forgetting to turn the gas burners off for days at a time is not such a good idea either. So now we push a button on a remote to tell Hal that we'd like to turn on the grill. I have turned on the gas for the barbecue, like you asked me to. I will turn it off at bedtime in case you forget. You know how easily distracted you are. The computer controls the gas through an Insteon module. This interface is in a conspicuous location where I can easily see this beacon lit showing me that the gas is turned on. This toggle switch quickly disables the interface so the gas doesn't unexpectedly get turned on by the computer. Oh, it's been 15 minutes. You might want to check out those ribs and see how they're doing. The gas is controlled by a single solenoid spring-loaded valve, so if there's a problem with the interface or if the power goes out, the valve will snap shut. This manual bypass valve makes sure that a computer problem won't hold up our dinner. The gas is automatically shut off at bedtime or when we leave the house. And we talked about that in detail in part one.